Hello, my name is Joanne Isam Ibera. I'm 55 years old and I've lived my whole life here in Lakeside. So I thought I'd come here today and share some of my memories. My family's been here for many generations and I'm very proud of that fact. In fact, my uncle by marriage, my father's brother's wife's father, George Miller has a lot of history here. He's the last stagecoach driver to go between San Diego and Julian. Lakeside was a town of about seven lakes in the early 1900s. There was a big flood that came through in 1916 and since then a lot of the things have changed. A lot of the low lands have been built on and uh, as far as Lakeside itself, Main Street remains the same as I remember it. Like I said I was born in 1954 so by 1964 I was a regular at the Lakeside show. Mrs. Krasavi ran the Lakeside show on Main Street and I'm telling you that Poor Mrs. Kasavi, she probably babysat every child that was ever born in Lakeside for a good decade because the parents would just drop us off at the Lakeside show for 50 cents. Across the street was Sam and Katie's Liquor Store, which a lot of us Lakeside kids remember because they had a glass case in there where you could buy your candy for a penny. So we'd go there first, buy our candy, and go to the Lakeside show. And I remember in the old days walking over here to the park with my grandma to feed the ducks that there used to be a pump house that sat right there at Lakeshore and Vine and there was nothing more beautiful than to listen to that cool water in that pump house underneath of those date palms, picking up dates and listening and feeling the mist that came off of that. Then she would take me over to feed the ducks and there our family had many, many picnics and there was the boathouse right in the middle of the lake here at Lindo Lake Park and there was an actual wooden bridge that ran from one part of the shore to the other shore. In there, there was actual boats that were docked under the boathouse, and we had a lot of fun times in that boathouse. It was beautiful. Since then, they've taken out the bridge, and now the boathouse does exist, but it's quite different than it was in the old days. We still do have our Lakeside Junior High, where my mother attended in 1937, and uh, we still do have the Lakeside district school building that's still there. It's been remodeled, sitting next to Vaughn's, adjacent to Vaughn's parking lot. And uh, as I remember Lakeside being, they've kept Main Street pretty much the same. The Historical Society was the church that was there, built there in the turn of the century. I do remember my grandmother and grandfather talking about the first land speed record set by Barney Orfield around the racetrack that was here at the Lakeside Inn that burned in the 20s. Uh, Barney Orfield speed record was 60 miles per hour in the early 20s. So that's some of the history I remember of my family. Very proud to grow up in Lakeside. Thank you very much for your time.